All right, welcome back to Virtual Total Turf Experience Sports Complex here in Pittman, New Jersey. As we are getting set for game four or five here for our match 5v5 Road of the Cup qualifying round that I hear. As game four will feature the South Jersey crew versus the Extreme. And we're going to get right into the lineups. For the crew, we have number six, Gus Schultes. Number 10, Dominic Romanic. Number four, Josh Eric Hellion. Number three, Colin Beasley. Number one, JJ Boderback. Number five, Vincent Federico. Number nine, Joey Viola. Number seven, Justin Tanner. And number 53, who will be playing goalie, will be Hunter Lugan. And for the extreme, uh, number seven, Colin Anderson. Number four, Austin Tesco. Number 26, Colin Chance. Number 88, Johnny Myers. Number nine, Antonio Sargelli. Number 10, Austin Weist. Number 23, Jason Kinderman. And number 24, Jared McNair. Yeah, welcome back, Joe. There we go. So it's game four. Got one more game remaining. And we just saw a uh, three-peat by the Medford Real team scoring a total of 25, 26 goals in three games. Amazing. They had five. They had 18. No, they had 23 goals in three games. All right. Well, this is the first time we're seeing the South Jersey crew. And they're facing the team extreme with their goalkeeper, Colin Anderson. You getting any calls into the booth? You can call us anytime in the booth. Take your request at 218-8091. Ask for Bryce. He'll be glad to help you. That's one of our sponsors, Disco Pants and Haircuts. And don't forget that we uh, have a next birthday party with us. You can play these great sports on our turf. There's wiffle ball, tennis baseball, soccer, flag football, dodgeball, extreme dodgeball. And don't forget coming up in April, our dog show. That's always a fan favorite. Over 400 breeds or dog will be here over a three day period. And don't forget to visit our site. You can look at all the different sports that we have available here at the Indoor Sports Complex located in Pittman, New Jersey the virtual total turf experience. We've been here since June, and we intend to be here for quite a while. So this is day one. I believe next week we will bring you the U8, U9, and U10s as they uh, do battle for the uh, chance to move on to North Jersey for the MAPS 5v5 Cup Final. And they'll be flown first class on top of one of uh, the Total Turf Experience corporate jet flown by our own Captain Andrew Lovar. And right, we got about six minutes left. We'll be right back after these extremely fake messages. TurboTax, what's your tax question? Is your federal free edition really free? It's actually for free. What? Yes, it's free to prepare, print, e-file, and you get free expert help. See, that's for free. You just blew my mind. Do your simple return with the TurboTax Federal Free Edition. It's free to prepare, print, e-file, and only TurboTax offers free one-on-one -on -one expert tax advice for everyone. Live by phone and chat. Go to TurboTax.com. Live tax advice service is free and subject to availability, restrictions, and change without notice. See TurboTax.com for details. And now another CentOS Game Changer with sports broadcaster Aaron Andrews. I'm standing in the store of a major retailer in Boston with John, the regional manager. John, how do you have time to stay focused on your customers? Well, a detailed playbook and support from a team of pros like CentOS for fire protection. 
Now, Cintas is known for uniforms, but they're players in fire safety, too? They are. Cintas provides us with complete fire testing, inspection, and repair. Extinguishers, emergency lights, sprinklers, alarms. The safety rule book for retail stores is pretty strict. How does Cintas compete? Well, I used to have to call a sprinkler guy, an alarm guy, uh, basically a different guy for everything. But now with one call, Cintas ensures we meet all regulations. Sounds like bringing in Cintas for fire safety was a winning move. For more, let's go to the booth. Fire protection is one of many expert services Cintas can tackle for your business. Don't call multiple companies. Call 1-800-CINTAS6 or visit Cintas.com slash radio and tell them to bring in the team with the white truck. Get ahead of the game and get your team gear at the local legend, Sports Paradise, located exclusively inside of the Virtua Total Surf Experience Indoor Sports Complex. Open every day, not just game days. WTSL 103.1 FM, live and local sports talk. Total Sports Live and the home of the Virtua Total Turf Experience Broadcasting Network online at TotalTurf.net. If you like sports, you'll love this. You're locked into Total Sports Live. Only here at the Virtua Total Turf Experience Indoor Sports Complex. All right, Sean, we're back for game four here at the Virtual Total Turf Experience Indoor Sports Complex. What do we got coming up? Oh, uh, right now we got uh, the South Jersey Crew versus the Extreme on B, which we're going to be covering, and we also have on field A, Washington United versus Rage. Right, so the uh, the Extreme are in the black jer- Virtua jerseys, and the South Jersey Crew are sporting the uh, very Christmas like white and red Santa suits. I wonder that far. I wonder, I wonder Santa suits, but I mean, they are pretty creative t shirts. Actually, pretty we could have used them yesterday when we were down Santa. <laughs> we were down Santa, yeah. I heard that uh, he thought it was today, though. That's what that's what I heard. Oh, I can say that too. To be completely honest with you, that's all I heard. So uh, we'll never know. I mean, I'll, I will I will never know. So, but uh, the extreme is supporting uh, the virtual total turf experience by wearing their virtual black uniforms. Nice touch. Where are the uh, total turf uh, jerseys at? Oh. I, to, I don't know. To I talk don't, to Captain Logar about that. I don't know. I mean, this is this Are we allowed? I don't know. I, I don't. I'm thinking. Since what about Total Sports Live? We're allowed to do that. We can. can I, sponsor a team. Sponsor? Yeah. Why not? There we go. Future. We're talking future now. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> All right. Got some Green Bay's up. Yay! Green Bay's up 14-7. No, the only reason I'm pro- the only reason I'm happy I got Aaron Rodgers as my fantasy quarterback. There you go. It's playoff time. Playoff time in fantasy football. That's right. It's a big day for fantasy football owners. Well, I'm sure it is. You're not into that, are you, Joe? Not really. No. Too busy here at the Total to- to- Turf Experience Indoor Sports Complex, keeping it running. Keeping it moving. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Uh, I don't know about you. My legs are starting to hurt a little bit from standing. <laughs> hey, you know, it's all good. It's always good. Always good for a laugh. Always. Don't you want You are correct, sir. You're the winner. What did I win? Another gift certificate given out by the Total Turf Experience Holiday Stocking Stalker Campaign. You need to go visit Bryce at the me <laughs> at the front entrance. Oh, we got a laugh now. We got a laugh I didn't track. Even, I didn't even notice that. Hold on. I ain't hear it. Maybe it's not on. Oh, it's on. I haven't heard it yet. Let's see. And Jerry McGuff is now in the building, ladies and gentlemen. 
for those seeking autographs. He will be in the front of the building signing autographs from 3.15 to 3.30. He might be signing those gift certificates, too. That's right, yeah, signing all the gift certificates. And we're underway, guys. Game four or five. This is game four of five between the red and white South Jersey crew and the black extreme Virtua team. Hey, that rhymes. There you go. That was pretty cool. Let's see how, how this game's going to be. All games that we've seen that I've, they've been dominated by uh, Medford Real. I get a chance to look at some other teams. Try to get it back in the middle. Just watch. It's 246. Wow. All right. I feel like I've been here all day. Oh, wait. So actually, Medford Real is getting a break. They're not even playing right now. They don't play. They don't even play at. They, they're, they're playing again. They play play at 3.30. Which will be their final game. So I guess everybody plays four games. Everybody plays four games. Verd covering five. <laughs> wow, this goalie's uh. He's a little bit. Who extreme. Wow. Oh. What a coincidence. Thanks, Handicam. Handicam's always popping in and out, you know. That you don't know when they're coming. You, you don't know when they want to sponsor. You he know? wants a plug, he gets it. So we've got Colin Beasley on uh, offense there. Looks like we've got number JJ Builder back playing in the back in the fence. And we've got number three. And number six in the game, that's uh, Gus Schultes. For the red and white South Jersey crew. You need to watch out for that glass that plays mine church for you. <laughs> oh, what a move. It would be a goal. No. Nice save there by the goalie, Hunter Logan. Wow. That's a penalty. You don't even, know to, you don't even have to go to videotape for that one. Oh, save. Austin Teshko with the push off there. Saved by Colin Anderson. Oh, that's through. Oh. That was uh, a fan favor of the ladies. That was number 26. There he is again, Tonner Chance. Sporting the latest in eye spectacle fashion. And it's a goal for the crew. That was number three. Colin Beasley. So the crew strike first. Proverbial first blood there. Just send it back. In the middle, save by Hunter Logan. That's a Tesco fan. Oh, he threw it away. Oh, another save by Logan. And that's the fashionable Connor Chase there with the shot Chase on goal. Still wide. It's a barrage of shots there for for Hunter Logan. As he holds up unscathed. He made up for that error. Another bad pass. Here comes the shot. Oh, off the post. Crew are not making smart passes right now. Jason Kinnerman there with the with the launch that just did not go in. Had, Had a admit. shot though. Can't can't beat the effort. Here. No. Austin saw jelly uh, saw jelly now in the game. I don't know where that came from. You must be craving a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Yeah, I am. I'm hungry. He must be. If anybody wants to bring us some food here in the booth, that'd be well appreciated. As this is our fourth game. Someone want to bring us a recliner too? That'd be awesome. <laughs> oh, he's throwing it deep. He's got two shoes on. Two he's different got like, on? Yeah, it's two different colors. Is that legal? I guess if they fit and they're and they're legally being used, I guess it doesn't really matter. To check the uh, rules on that one. 
I don't. I did. I looked through the rules. I did not see anything about uh, multicolored shoes. Multicolored shoes or any type of that nature. Feels so much later than it actually is. It feels. At le it feels like at least five o'clock right now. Uh, we got an injured player down on the other side. One of the Washington United kids. And I believe we'll probably have to get virtual in here. Are they here though? That is the question. I don't I don't I don't believe they're here. Looking at this game right now, it's one, one nothing in favor of the crew. Crossing the middle, up to the side. Welcome back, Joe. So that was uh, Captain Andrew Logar there. The Virtua is not in the building anymore today. They not, have left early. Not as yes, fantasy football is a lot, a lot more popular than I thought. <laughs> Shot no. They're turning the ball over. Here comes a shot at it's a goal. Number 24, Jared McNair. And it's 1-1. One, one. And then we got another injured player down for the extreme. It's 1-1. One, one. 17 and a half minutes to go as we take. Who was that? That's number. Back and forth game so far. Not much scoring. And what we're accustomed to anyway. Watching the first couple of games. Um, Connor Chase. Chase. Got the name right. Awesome. It is currently raining outside too. I just realized that when I walked out. Uh, weather report. Shows a little bit of little scattered participation. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Oh, another injured player for Washington Township. Injuries are coming quick and often now in these fourth games. It's a flurry. <laughs> Comes with there again, trying to cross him up. No. The foot raise. Goy's going to get there first. Oh, beat them out. Now nice he's going to play the field. Shot. Save. You throw it deep. Trying to catch the goalie off guard who took the shot. I don't believe we've seen a goalie score a goal here yet today. Another player down. Another one's down. He's back up. It's only turf burn. <laughs> That's Austin Weiss there. He's still hobbling a little bit. Ooh. And he falls down again, and yeah, he's hurt. Yeah, that one. I think that one pretty much. It's that right leg, it looks like. He's walking pretty good right now. I mean, we'll see. Yeah, he's, he's, he's hobbling a little bit, but I mean, nice save. Get the, there goes the pass. He led on number 88. That's Johnny that Myers. Run out of room on the sideline. <laughs> Gonna run. Oh. That was a nice little quick pass there by Gus Schultes. Oh, that's gonna run. No, it's gonna stay in bounds, but Nair kept it in bounds. Nair the shot. Oh, saved. Be a corner for. It's the extreme. 
Substitution looks like Joshua. I'm sorry. Austin Tesco back in the game. And Jason Trinnerman, number 23, are back in. Easy there with the drum beats. Thought that was a rap concert for a second. <laughs> I don't know if many rappers use drum beats though. It's only thing, maybe. Oh, the through ball. Too far. Nice save there by Logan. It's a one-one game. Here comes a shot. Wide. That took a friendly bounce back to the goalie. And it was deflected, so it'll be a corner kick. Try to get as much of the field as we can without. Oh, good save by Colin Anderson there. That's going to be extreme ball. Wow, two balls in one field. That was awesome. That's a problem. 13 and a half to go. Back to the player. Oh, it's a one-on-one -on -one shot. Wide. I caught that one. I caught. I catch it, you know? That was smooth. I've been catching them pretty well after the first couple times. So we're still tied 1-1 one -one here with just under 13 minutes to play. Uh-oh, it's going away. Crossed up. True trying to get a shot. He had a shot. He waited. Maybe a little too long there. That was number three. Colin Beasley there on the offensive attack. He's got to get that shot off quicker, like you said. So Beasley again with the kick in. Into the middle. Tried to send him long. Logan's there. Saul Gelly with the steal. I mean, you got you got you got to give Medford its props, man. They have definitely have the best ball handling, foot skill, the entire day. Oh, and a goalie change! Wow, we got a that's a first. Jared McNair is in net now. For those of you who's keeping score at home, Jared McNair now is the goalie. He's in for Colin Anderson, who's out. So the. The fan favor the ladies, Chase, Connor Chase there with the kick in. Uh-oh, this could be a shot. No, ooh. From my vantage point, a little bit of handball. Then wide by number four. Austin Tesco. That one's going to run. McNair chips it into the middle. Oh, good passing. Oh! Took a whiff. Now we got a penalty? We got a foul. Looked like he brought his arm up a little bit. Maybe it's just my advantage. Looks like Connor Chase is going to take this one. Yeah, send it back, back to Manier. Yeah. 1-1. One, one. The crew have already lost a tie game. They're 1-1, one one, I believe. I know. I'm saying when they... Their first game, they tied. Right. And then they lost in a penalty kick. Oh, look at that. The extreme. Trying to get a shot. Saved by Logan. Logan throws that out of bounds. And don't forget to stay tuned for our final game, Extreme versus Rage, coming up at 3.30. Right here on Field B at the Brian H. Early. Wide. Indoor Arena, the virtual Total Turf Experience Indoor Sports Complex. This is Total Sports Live. Oh, miscommunication there. So, Sean, any chance of the white stuff coming down anytime soon? I hope so. I mean, I miss snow. We didn't get much of it last year. I mean, last year, a shot wide. We actually got it. On the Halloween list, it seemed like yes, around October. 
That was the only snow we had seen all year last year. Or at least it seemed like it. McNair with a shot on goal. Uh-oh. Here comes a shot. Crossing the middle. Nobody's there. Shot. And it's in. <laughs> Number four, Joshua Eric Hellion with the goal. It's a heck of a last name. Nine and a half to go. Dean's definitely not over yet. It's only 2-1. So Eric Hellion with the goal puts the uh, crew on top two. Oh, oh. Just missed it. Oh, what a throw. Gonna stop with behind him. Lift on the middle. In the middle. Here comes a shot. Off the post. A nice shot there by Colin Anderson. Still in. Back out to Anderson, the shot. Oh, what a save by Logan. He will just not fall for Anderson. Oh. Seems to me that the intensity has picked up here in this game in the last couple of. Oh, yeah, definitely. Outside, the shot deflected. With just under eight and change Ooh. left. With two. Try to send them. Shot. Save. Oh. Bobbled it, but still got it. There's a nice lead pass. And that's going to be a corner kick. Looks like we got number five, number five Vincent Federico, on the Corner kick. Uh oh. Does a break. Back outside the 88. Johnny Myers. Right at the goalie. Goalie just leading him. There it goes. There's a shot. Wide. That's Federico with the blast. Outside. Oh, they're going to call a foul. Looks like Justin Tanner. Oh, they sent him on. Thinking that the play was over. It's going to be a corner for the crew. So Tanner's in for Dominic Romanic. Chip it in. Header. Save. Nice. Nice. Um, what have I uh, Nice. Air ball there by Joshua Arakelian. He's got a goal for the South Jersey crew this afternoon. Oh, he kicked it the wrong way. Yeah, the hustle to get back. It's going to be a corner. Nice hustle there by Schultes as he'll take the corner kick. Side to center in the middle. Game's not over yet. It's only 2-1 with six minutes to go. A lot can happen in that time period. Colin Anderson, stroke, shot. Save by McNair. Uh-oh. Oh, and it's 2-2. Two -two. Scored by Austin Reese. And it's 2-2 two -two with 5.40 to go. Back and forth we go. Back up to, ooh, defense by the crew. Send in the middle. And just send it up the middle. Here comes the crew. The shot. Save. He had McNair beat to his left side, but he decided to scare Here comes Weez the shot wide. 
I don't know. Is that net not on the line? This one right in front of us? It doesn't look like it's on the, on the goal line. Here comes a shot. In the middle. Oh, deflected. Saved and stayed in bounds. Four and a half to go. Not at a two here. Trying to get it to Weiss. It's stolen away. One on one with the goalie. Oh, McNair with a big save. Schultes had him beat. He hesitated. Nobody there. There goes Weiss and Schultes. Schultes. And it's going to be a. Goal kick. Oh, and he lost it to him. Shot. Saved by McNair. That was a nice shot there by number three, Ooh. Colin Beasley. And number three, Colin Beasley commits the foul. The shot by Anderson. Oh! What a shot. Three to two in favor of the extreme. Colin Anderson. Beautiful shot there. Now the crewers, they, they got to get something going now. Three and a half to go. They've had their chances. I just hit it too. I just hit the screen. This girl, oh, he's trying to. Number 26, Connor Chance. Two and a half to go. Crews still have a shot. Oh, that could be it. Saved by McNair. The clock is now not your friend. With just uh, two minutes and 15 seconds remaining here. The crew needs a goal. Two minutes. Trying to get something going here with... Got a couple more chances. Outside the. We, uh, no, I got the wrong name. Shot! Oh! And it's in. in! So the crew are three, still alive. Three. Minute and a half to go. We could have our first shoot out of the afternoon there, Sean. Well, for us anyway. <laughs> See what happens here in the last minute and a half. Like we said earlier, anything can happen at any given time. And here comes the crew. No foul. It's a feverish pace here with the last, the last 60 seconds. A minute left. See what happens. Here comes a shot. No, he missed it. There it goes. Goes the other way. Now going back the other way. It's a track meet. <laughs> it's going to be a corner with 35 seconds. Cross in the middle. Saved by Logan. Got to hustle it down the floor. Throw the ball that far? Uh, apparently you can't throw it. But there's 13 seconds. A shot with 13 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. The shot. Oh, and it's in. And that's it. No, nope. apparently the ref did not give it it. 
Hold on a second. They asked for they asked for space. They asked for the yardage. Er, and outside they asked for ten yards, but he didn't give it. He asked for it. You have to give it to him. You can't kick it right away. So we're gonna see what's going on now. Let's see. Apparently they did give it to him. I don't know. I missed it. Yeah. It's going to be a 4-3 win for the extreme. Oh, wow. This is... Oh, wait. I don't even know. <laughs> Apparently they might even end as a tie. I have no idea. Well, I have no idea. We'll, we'll get the results sooner than later. And we have one more game today for you guys watching online or even here in the cap. It's going to be the Rage Against the Extreme, so the, the Extreme aren't going anywhere. And... We aren't really sure what just happened, so we're going to get a clear-cut ruling in a couple minutes. But until then, we'll be right back with the final of our the final and fifth game of today's qualifying round for the 5v5 maps through to the Cup 